stepping back in, uh, we we step up into war. I'm gonna make my I'm gonna make my uh, um, camp action right after war uh, has this thing. War, you're approaching Captain Sahala. What's yeah. this? What is this interaction like? She's in the middle of putting together the uh, helping these two veterans who she's obviously worked well with and knows well. There are men that are under her, and they're putting together this parapet. And she like has her armor off, sleeves up, she's sweating. If there's like. I don't know, a very small task I can help do just for a second. Like, I'll run up and do that real quick and say, uh, Captain Sahala, can, do you have a moment? Yeah, you, you're like, she, like, she, like, looks up, uh, like, she's, like, trying to, like, lift, uh, she's, like, getting ready, like, to lift uh, a new plank, and, like, you get on the other side of it. Mm -hmm. And, like, cause she goes to lift, like, that's a lot lighter than I thought, and she looks up to see war on the other side, just like, oh, oh, um, oh, war. That's right. You were at the meeting. You uh, you yes. you are the leader of uh, you are the leader of the, uh, the 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 newcomers. She sets she sets down the, the wood, seeing it like this is secondary. Let me uh, a proper <laughs> introduction. Um, and uh, say, we do not have a leader, but I am myself. She says, "Well, I think Commander Breakbone would think otherwise. I've definitely seen something in you enough to want to at least bring you and." Well, and she kind of looks over to uh, Asteria, who's in the midst of like in this uh, like the, this this conjuncture of of of, uh, of, of book nerds around this uh, floating <laughs> tensor's disc. She's like, I don't think he had a really good uh, uh, conversation. At least I heard a little bit of yelling. I heard him yell, and I heard her leave. So I imagine there might have been a bit of an argument. That's something you could have heard as well, War. If yeah. there was an argument between her and Asteria, uh, now Breakbone yelled mm -hmm. um, for sure. So she says. But uh, for the most part, he shows some respect for you. That's good. So you don't end up in chains. And uh, she, uh, yeah, what do you say? Uh, shaking her hand, I'll kind of lean in close and speak kind of softly and say, I don't care what Breakbone said. The command that you gave those men in the Southern Towers gave them a chance at life today. And for that, you should be proud. Trying, like, not to let literally anyone hear that. <laughs> yeah. She kind of, like, looks around a little bit, and she says, Thank you. Um, I've already had a few of the of the, um, the towermen report that they are within a, uh, a, few, a few minutes' journey to the gate. They're already preparing for its open. I'm glad to see that they will live. I... I, I do not want you to think... Um, I do not want you to get any odd ideas about me. I am I'm a soldier true and true. I respect my commander. And I do as I am ordered to by the high um, the, the, the high clerics of Tormtir and Helm. I have been ordered to assist this place, bring it to order, um, and keep it sustained. And that is what I'm doing. Uh, commander Breakbone is a good man but he is under a lot of pressure I can't possibly I, understand his position I understand he's I understand this is his first command and while his heart is in the right place I don't necessarily trust his instincts of command yet you have great instincts <laughs> I can tell I need them right now do you truly believe the undead intend to rout us here? She says, I... And she looks uncomfortable. I she looks I around and she says, I... I un understand what you are saying. It has been said to me before, but you have to understand that those words that you're saying are very dangerous. I understand. They would be considered mutiny by many accord. I suggest you keep that opinion to yourself. If you are looking for my opinion in tactics, I don't think there's anything wrong with me giving you my true opinion outside of that. Besides, I outrank you here, so I think I, I am at least the one who can speak their mind. Um, what we've been seeing here in these jungles is undead or unnatural, but this is entirely alien. These things, these marked ones that lead them, they what ones I've experienced killed one myself fought like a man not like a beast like a creature that was 
very... I can't put it any other way other than sentient in every manner. Fought with speed, accuracy, and used... It, when I fought this thing, when I killed it, it nearly slit my throat. It learned from me. That is what disturbed me most. That does it understood, sound disturbing. It, it understood the attack patterns that we taught, that we teach in the camp, and it countered them. I... I don't know what to think any more of these undead. After they stormed our camp, Camp Righteous, it felt so deliberate that we had to put some science to it, that these creatures were just drawn to us, as if we were... Uh, a beacon in the light that they needed to snuff out. That is at least the the doctrine that Breakbone preaches here, but I think it's something entirely different. I think they... something is telling them what to do. I did speak to Niles of this, and he thought it wasn't outside the realm of possibility that there is a leader of theirs to the east. There is some folklore story. I do not know the details, but... Yes, but I don't think it's a something. This is just a guess. Niles has not fought them toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He is a good commander and a decent enough fighter, but he... He... he his preference is tactics, for the most part. He went to a military school high above any grade my family could afford. I am... He has not fought on the front lines before. Though he's taken his kill in sieges on, on our camps, but he has not gone out into the jungle and faced them alone, as I have with these strong men that are by my side. Um, they... I don't know what it is, but there's a... There is a rumor that my men have chosen to believe. It allows them to understand more their enemy, and I... I do not... I do not shun it. They believe some kind of... spirit. Some kind of... unmaterial entity controls their... their will. The... the triangle. The mark. The Charltons fear it and refuse to speak of it. Even after we knew that they might have knowledge, we understood after Wolf, their representative, the, the elven the elven friend of, of Commander Breakbone, they are forbidden to speak of it. It is solemn to whatever religion or, or, or doctrine they follow, but they fear that mark with an intensity that I only see in men who look upon their own deaths and know not what to do. What we face is entirely unnatural and entirely evil, and we need to prepare for that in every way. I agree. And while Breakbone's plan may hold a siege, if there is anything we can do on top of his plan to help, we currently are working outside of the command structure. <laughs> Says, well, the most that I think you can do is help to build the parapets, find where, where your skills of you and your allies lie and where you would best be had together or apart among, among the, or alone, however well you fight, or if you fight, and if you don't, find a place that you will be hunkering down and quickly and do the best you can to prepare us for the coming storm. She looks and she says, I, and she thinks for a moment like she wants to say something to you, express maybe like an idea. You can see it in her mind. Go on. I, it, time is running out. It's not feasible. And it wouldn't matter anyway. Commander Breakbone wouldn't allow it. I, it's better off I don't discuss it. I don't want to put any hopes where there shouldn't be any. If you are uncomfortable with it, that's fine. But my ears are open if you would ever need to. And he'll, like, uh, pick up the board. 
I understand, War. Thank you for, um... Thank you for coming here. Yes. And You're... I unfortunately struck one of your companions. Um, I feel entirely awkward about it, but I found myself quite frustrated. Um, the dwarf individual. I Brody. had, uh... He, yes, I guess that is his name. He, um... <laughs> I, I feel as though I may, may owe him an apology. My situation is uh, quite stressful as well, as I'm sure you know. He, yes. uh... He... <laughs> I believe I am owed apology as well, as he had laughed in my face. Very disrespectful when I, um... He has a tendency to do that. I, I believe last it was because of Nanny Poo Poo. She says, and she kind of like looks, squints her eyes, just sort of shakes that off. And it's like, <laughs> he, he's kind of like looking up into the sky to remember like yeah, <laughs> what the she, name was. <laughs> she says, it may have been my fault as well. I made a mention that may have offended him, and I take it back. Um, I don't know how upset he might be with me, but... Sometimes my temper takes hold, and I can't control it. So if you see him, do tell him that I am looking for him. I will do that. Your men are good to place trust in their captain. Good. It's at this point that I am using my camp action. I think uh, through throughout the the work, the hammer that's that's the hammering that's seen, the the work that's going on throughout the camp. Um, we see uh, and we hear first. Uh, we see the guards look up from this tower and also from this tower over here as we hear the flapping of wings on the wind as a single hawk dives down out of the sky and into Nile Breakbone's war tent. And uh, I think anybody can notice this and look up, even those in um, in the uh, in the in their in the study group. Um, and I think Sal Hollow looks up and she says, a message from the West. Um, excuse me. And she uh, she's moving forward towards the tent. I mean, like rushing. Like she immediately puts herself down and does like a mall walk over towards the tent. Um, what's everyone in this area doing when that happens? Just curious. Asteria, um, uh, uh, Alexandrian War. Well... After I've gotten all the information that I'm getting from this lad, uh, she's going to start going about the camp. So, okay, cool, um, excellent. So you are mo you are moving about the camp. Can I ask where you're heading? Just so for just to know. Uh, yeah, she's gonna cool. she's gonna walk the walls. Okay, you're walking the walls to check if you need help or anything. Not necessarily. Uh, she's doing it to. Her only view of the camp has been Sorry. within the walls. She wants to yeah. see what's without. Yeah, you can go up on a, on a guard a guard tower too. You imagine that's probably okay. Um, cool. So I know what you're doing, Asteria. What are you doing? Um, Asteria is. I don't know. Asteria is angry. Um... She's just mad in the moment. You could continue talking with Gregory. Yeah, Siri will continue talking with Gregory. Okay, that's where you are. War, what did you do in this? Because this affects mostly this side of the board. No, no, move over to the other. Um, trying to decide if he'd follow her or not. She didn't seem like she was not inviting you. She just seemed like there's a message I need. I want to know what it is immediately kind of thing. Yeah, I think he'd go. All right, cool. So War and uh, Captain Sohana in the tent. Go ahead and place yourselves there. Um, uh, I know that Asteria is doing some wall search. I'm just going to put over here to remind myself. So investigate the camp. Asteria is staying near Gregory, who seems probably a little, a little, um, like, uh, uh, Valoria probably explains herself when she leaves, but he might seem a little like, oh, you're leaving, you're my friend, but I have this new friend, and he's just, like, enamored with two people, like, oh, my God, you both know magic kind of thing. Um... Excellent. And I think we will cut over to... Uh, who have I left hanging longer, Roland or Valkyrie? can't remember. Roll a dice. <laughs> yeah, roll a dice. There you go. Let's roll, roll the uh, yeah. yeah. I just want to see who I've been leaving hanging longer. That I'll, that I'll jump to. <laughs> Slash roll 1d20. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Why is it... 
He's um, telling me it's unrecognized. Forward slash roll. All one all one word. Slash roll space. One D like or, or one D twenty. Oh there <laughs> I barely won. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Get him out like now, boys. <laughs> Look, Roman's been waiting longer. But, this is but... the dis this is the distance between us. <laughs> Bro, yeah. after after dealing with that whole situation, I'm just curious how what's going through your mind. What are you what are you, what's going on after dealing with that whole situation with this this Crowley, this Sergeant it, Crowley? It, it takes him back. I feel like it takes him back to when he was maybe uh, maybe just a, a a druid in training when he met with Master. Though it was completely clearly different, it was very it is very different. It reminds you of that, for sure. Actually, it's got the same feeling, but it was very different presence than to that of your mentor. Yeah. So, Brolin's conflicted. He doesn't hate these people. He thinks they're intrusive tourists that need to leave. Uh, but as much as he wants to, he can't leave them here and just have them die. He kind of, he kind of spits, shakes his head off. Maybe uh, he's gonna go try and look for war. He's gonna go see uh, All right. war. Before you do, um, I'll take another camp action <laughs> and tempt you with another possible thing that's happening. Um, you see over here um, a bit of a, a, a not a, at first you think it's a lovers like dispute kind of thing. <laughs> You see these two individuals who are very close, but it's not a dispute. There is someone crying. And, uh, um, yeah, there, there's somebody crying over here. You see a, uh, one of the acolytes, a, a, a woman still in her, uh, in her, in her, in her gown, in her, in her ceremonial garb. And there is a soldier and he's holding her and they're kind of hiding near the medical, uh, medical supplies area behind this, uh, these, these stacked, um, uh, uh, boxes crates and you can sort of hear their conversation he's trying to console her and she seems to be getting a little uh panicky um and i think you can just hear i don't want to die i don't want to die and uh do you want to do anything rolling with that or do you just like not my business <laughs> he might he might just go over here maybe like go like get a little closer just kind of like oh, that's what's in this barrel <laughs> <laughs> are you trying not to be noticed yeah no Stealth, okay. Yeah. I'm sad to put this behind a roll, but it makes only sense. <laughs> Give me a stealth check. You can do it in the public. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just loading. It takes a while to load up anything on my Mac. Please yeah. not a natural one where you fall into no way. Oh, God! <laughs> I see that you're uh, having a problem. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? No. Hey. Well then, I think that passes their passive because they're pretty enamored with each other at the moment. So yeah, you can listen in. Um, and uh, I think, uh, I don't remember the name of the crying um, individual, the, the acolyte that Valphine was listening in on. I don't remember the name, but in this one we're going to call her Serstra. And um, uh, the, this guard's name is Adam. And uh, she, uh, we can hear their names because they're like saying each other's names. And he's just like, we have to stay strong. We, we, we will make it through this fight. It's like, no, Adam, please, oh, go to leave. Beg, beg, beg Firebeard, Firebeard, or fire, Firebrand to, to let you go to on duty and, and putting, putting stakes into the ground. Uh, I will, I, I have a way on the other side of the wall. Uh, I, I will talk to Sister Cyrus. And I, I, I will be able to convince her as well. We can both get out there. When they're not looking, we can just run. And he's just like, oh, we'll be killed. We won't make it far. You heard what they said. They're coming from in a horde. And in the past, when they attacked, then they surrounded easily. I mean, they broke against one wall, but we won't be able to outrun them. You've seen what they're like. They run with an ungodly speed. And he's there just, he's just like, I don't care. I don't care. I would rather be torn apart out there than stay one more moment inside of here. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it. And she just starts breaking down. And he's like, shh, shh. He holds her and she's like, you don't want to be tied to one of the pillars, do you? Left to be eaten alive if we are to be overrun. You want to fight by my side, don't you? She's like, yes, yes, I do. And he's just like, you have to stay strong, Zastra. Stay strong. 
for me, for, for everyone around you. And she's like, I can't, I can't anymore. I can't. And uh, she just seems just like she's breaking. Uh, do you do anything, Rowan, or do you just listen in? Yeah. Uh, it's really none of Brolin's business, but when they pipe up about like trying to leave, I uh, I go up uh, like, hey. Oh, hey and immediately, like they push <laughs> away from each other, and she's like, oh, I was just checking to see if uh, 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 there was. Uh, and I uh, go, hey, hey, calm. Do I look like I'm a member of the? Uh, they they just look really really nervous, and they're just like, you're um. Your friends with 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 Captain Firebeard. Listen, I'm I. Uh, 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 Calm I, I down, you fi- you you're fine. Make a persuasion. Yeah. <laughs> no. She just seems like she's just crying and just sitting there, like like what's gonna happen kind of thing with this person who's discovered us. All right. Character sheet loading. Access to the- Beep, 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 beep. Delphine, you're on deck. Just letting you know. Okay. And, and we... Ooh, a crit. Yeah, he just, they calm down. Even she calms down, and wipes her tears, and she just says, Sorry, we're... You're fine. Listen, listen, listen. Camp, listen. camp romance is forbidden. You're fine. My lips are sealed. Don't, no worries. Hey, listen. I know that jungle out there. It ain't pretty. And you're not gonna live out there by yourselves. This, you're too far out, there's no way. Your best bet, like it or not for now, is to stay in here. He looks over to her says, The dwarf speaks wisdom, Zestra. I don't want to. I don't want to die any more than you. But I'd rather die fighting for my life than running for it. No. She just, Though I gotta, I gotta ask him. Yeah. You would say I overheard your conversation. Did you had a way out of here? Says, ah. Uh, and she, and he looks and he says, no, it would be a long oh, shot. And she just said, I, we, we, I'm we not were... looking. I, I kind of, sl- I, I, I very passively interrupt him. I'm like, listen, listen, listen. I just, I was just curious. I'm not looking to leave either. But what, what are you talking about? He looks to Sestra, and he looks concerned, like, are you going to tell him, or, like, what? She, she says, nothing com- nothing complicated. We were just hoping that maybe we would be, we could be assigned to digging the trenches outside. I'm, I have a friendship with one of the wardens out there, um, sister to, 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 uh, uh, uh the scout, Wolf. Lorsa, she she would understand, and maybe she would look the other way if if Adam and I were to be stationed together and who were just disappeared. Well, it's a bad idea. Trust me. Well, hey, well, see this scar? <laughs> this is a man-eating plant. Just there are but... man-eating plants out there. <laughs> they will still fucking swallow you. She says it. It doesn't matter anyway. You're right, Will. We'll be fine. And you know what? I what? say, listen, don't worry about it. Just, but it's the, the safest thing is to stay here. And um, I'm, that's that's made me angry. Hearing the all, like, this a bunch of, like, so in the last ten minutes, three people I've encountered want to run. Yeah. Want to run from well, this. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, think the, I think the thing he wants, Brolin wants to do, he wants to go find Firebeard. Or Firebeard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's what Brolin's doing, and we'll move over to Valfine. Um, at which point, um, so I'll put you kind of like over here, like you you wanted to go over there. Um, Valfine, we cut back to you, and like maybe you're in the middle of trying to talk, and you get cut off again by by artists, and you're just like, listen, I don't got a whole lot of time. There, uh, my my proverbial daddy is going to be on the way back quite soon, and. Once he's here, they're gonna move us, okay? And I don't want to be moved right now. I want to get out. I hold up my hand and stop him from talking. Mm-hmm. Why? Did, uh, he kind of like puts his head. He's like, why? Why do you keep doing that? Just. I'm trying to be cool here, okay? 
He's like, oh, I'm cool. No, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm great. She pulls Look out me. a dagger from her belt. And he, like, immediately lurches forward out of the cool position. I can't go with you. And you claim this path can only bring a third person with. Well, um... I mean, I personally would like to get this whole fucking place evacuated if I could. There's some good people here, but... Yeah, I can kind of only get me this nerd and uh, maybe one other out of here. Uh, and then from there, maybe, I don't know, we can go to backport nine Zaru, send uh, someone to get the rest. None of this. They're still here. None of this. This conversation. Us talking, nothing. Nothing happened here. No! Mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. I didn't. No, no. Yeah. He just kind of like sits there and like waits anxiously, anxiously, and he's like bouncing a little bit. Like, she just slide the dagger down and undo his his, his bonds. Yeah, you can do so. And he's just like, oh, 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 at which point, immediately as you break the bonds of Dragon Bait, he puts a big scaled arm like right over his mouth, just like, because he's just like, oh, thank God, because <laughs> it's like feeling his eyes. He's just like. And, uh, yeah, they're going to attempt to sneak across the camp. Valfine, are you going to try to do the same? I think it's at this moment that you do see uh, Big Daddy uh, Big Daddy Watchman over here. He's talking to Ord Firebeard, looking for, um, like, talking to him, probably getting orders, and then he's getting ready to turn and head back in that direction. I'm going to sidle away to find Alexandria. Okay, direction. I'm gonna make some rolls, and we're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> these are only okay. these are these are only these guys. I mean, let's see how they'll do. Oh. <laughs> All right, they have put that hat. Metal Gear Solid music in my ear right now. <laughs> I'll make these public for your guys' sake. <laughs> so Yo. here's the first. Oh, 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 oh. That's from the human. God damn it. Uh, they need they need half to succeed, which is already <clears throat> gonna be that. But let's see if this if it goes up. Basically, they get two two rolls, which is pretty good. Because they're doing a group check. This is their this is their stealth. Is Oof. Their stealth? <laughs> I think I think that yeah, this is their stealth. But as with stealth group rules, half. So it's actually it's really easy for somebody who is stealthy to to help someone who is not so stealthy moving alongside them if they do well. Um, I think it's just how big Dragon Bait is. It's hard for him not to get unnoticed, and it's just this scene of like our artist is just like head down, head down, down, and he's just like for the you crawl, just crawl, <laughs> and you see Dragon Bait. He's like, stop it! God, you smell like shit. He's just like, <laughs> they are just moving across the camp, and they're heading straight towards. And you can see, I think, I only you can notice they're going ever so stealthily towards uh, Niles Breakbones' camp. Uh, War, what's your passive perception? My passive perception. Twenty-one. No. Oh, then never mind. <laughs> Definitely not that. Neither is his Niles. Is it twenty-one? <laughs> is it twenty-one? <laughs> 21, no. 13. No. <laughs> so, um, as you... He's got a later uh, dish on his shelf. <laughs> as you step inside, um, make a perception check for me. I'm asking it of you. Your passive perception... Actually, yeah, just give me a... Make it, what is your passive perception? 13. 13. I should have got it from you anyway. Um, uh, I'm going to come back to you on that. Valphine, where are you headed? I forgot where you were. I'm headed, headed east on the map. Easter this way? This way toward cool. Put, yourself, put yourself around there, that's fine. Put um, around yeah, there. I do want your stealth check too, though. Sorry. Uh, I, yeah, need, I, need, I, I definitely need a new one to get away. I'll still give you advantage in the situation that you're in. Okay. Just want to see how you do here. This could be trouble. Okay. Yeah, you slip away from that situation completely. Okay, completely. At which point, yeah, Warrior 13, I will give you something. Um, interesting. Just because it's different about the room when you step in. Um, but this is the weird thing. 
this is the thing you notice, I think, with the 13. When you stepped in this room the first time, we're going to do an interaction in here. By the time you leave, you stepped in and that sword and dagger and the backpacks that were next to the uh, to the chest were there. But by the time you leave, they will not be there. And you will have noticed that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I um, uh, so you step in and Salhal steps in first, like concerned, and uh, you stepped in af- after. And you see Niles Breakbone sitting at the desk. And he is just staring at the hawk that is on the table, kind of moving around. You notice that uh, that tied to the hawk's leg is a little, is what looks to be a small, uh, like a small sized like rope, like a tie. Like at one point he might have been tied down by that leg, and he's just sitting there and he's just looking at this bird. And Salhal steps in and says, "News from the West Command. What? What? Do, what? What do they bring? Is?" And he immediately, like, she's in the military talk, he interrupts, he's like, No news. None. This bird came empty-handed. And she looks at, and he just looks at her. And I think you can tell there's a bit of worry from coming from her. Like, there's an awkward pause. She doesn't know what to say. She says, no news. It just... What is... It, it arrived. There's nothing with it. Perhaps it lost its payload out, outside. Maybe nearby it could be confused or scared. And he says... No. There was nothing on the bird. Feel free to check the grounds if you wish. Um, War, what do you do? This is tense. This is odd, like what maybe an unexpected tense situation. There is some, like, like, it's hard not to feel like Salhala wants to question him really badly. But, like, can't. She's, like, trying to find a way to say something else, to add, like, another suggestion, to do, try to get something. Do you know where this bird came from? He 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 goes to the bird and, like, uh, uh, lifts up a patch where feathers are, are missing. Uh, and he says, from of our men, some of our men flew from the west. I imagine that's where it's from. Mm. The eastern towers, they have stronger birds than this, so I'm assuming the west. An ill omen, though, indeed. A bird without a message. We should be prepared for anything coming that way. We'll make sure that the gate is well guarded as it faces the west, the eastern banks. Yeah. Or if, I, if, I, if I said western before, I meant eastern. This bird is from the east. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm getting my shit fucked up. This bird's from Talk the good. east. Um, uh, and he just, uh, yeah, he's from the east. Left. No, right, right. It's from right. All right, anyway. <laughs> yeah. So we know the south, the west, and maybe the east. So here's something. As an audience, we know this is the same bird we saw at the beginning of the episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's gone. And, uh... We're all yeah. gonna die! <laughs> and, uh, but, yeah, Sahala is struggling here. And she's just like... It is... I trained the men who, who, who are taking the towers to the, um, in, in, the, in the eastern jungles. I, I can't imagine they would ever send uh, a hawk without a message. I'm s- sorry, Commander, but I, if you would have me step out of line once more, I'd like to say just, no. No, Saul, you stepped out of line far enough. My word is simply my word. There was no message to be sent. The bird was there. If you're having trouble believing me, perhaps you should spend a little more time with those around you and start worrying about their affairs rather than mine. This is a command sent directly to me. It only would apply to me, and there is no command. And she says, wait a minute. You, and she says, listen. And he steps up onto the, on the table, and he's like, You know, 
our loss. My authority is absolute. You will go about your duties. There was no message. Oh, no. At which point she just thinks for a minute and back to you. And she just says, I. I understand. Um, I. Yes, Commander. And she steps out. Do you stay in or do you go? And he says, I'll, Or I imagine you have things to do as well. Yep, yeah, I'll just nod at him and then huh. step out after Sahala. She steps out and she looks troubled. And she's just, I. Want to leave. And she wipes her head. I should get back to work. What was that about, Sahala? She turns around and she says, I. I don't know, War. But I think that we need to continue to prepare for the worst within and without. And she uh, she just steps away with that and goes back towards the uh, the uh, her men. She says, "Hoist it. We need to get this parapet up." And you see it's built. And uh, she says, "Grab the supports. Let us get them in place." And she looks over, Gregory, our. Uh, she, she kind of like looks like she's angry that she has to even use that word to like in common. She's just like, I need your help. Please mend these, and uh, the, he, he'll be called away from you, Asteria. Um, Asteria, what are you doing? Uh, since War walked back up, I uh, go with uh, probably Draconic. I know War speaks Draconic. God, I skipped over Val Valoria. I'm coming back to you, Valoria. Go ahead. All good. And uh, ask what. Well, that was all about with the hawk. He said he received no message on the hawk, but he also spoke of some command that he received. There's a message that I did not understand in those words. But Makes what I do if know he had a withdraw order. I don't know. What I do know is that on three sides there are now reports. And my guess is the North will fill with them as well. Um, <clears throat> so... As this is happening, um, the gates, uh, the gates to the uh, to the to the fortress open, and you see a few um, uh, scouts come in. The scouts that were expected, and I think Selhana is immediately greeting with them, and immediately just like, oh, you lived, and she's counting, and they're all there. And she's just, she's like, good, good. We have a lot of work here to do, and she starts giving out commands. Um, and it kind of comes down to a last person, and they look like they've been waiting, and he, this person's ready to like speak to Selhana, like has some kind of news. And before we go over to that, we're going to get back to over to Valoria or Alexandria, rather. What uh, what is your your investigation of the perimeter like? You might run into Valfine. Yeah, probably. Um, if I see her, uh, she's. What Valoria is doing is just checking things out. Specifically, she's wondering what the outside of the camp looks like because they keep mentioning these kill pits, mm -hmm. um, but doesn't doesn't see any kill pits in the camp. Okay, you want to step up on a go climb a tower? Yeah, a guard will easily step out of the way to uh, to show you. You have to actually. Uh, I'm going to have you take his place because he's standing in a, in an area you can't quite see. Um, but I'm going to move you past that area. Different view? Oh, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, you see out across the jungle, the, uh, you see, you see your, your canoe, you see, um, uh, a few of those individuals, those scouts, uh, as they enter into the camp and the, the camp gates open only slightly to allow them entry, close behind them. But you look out into the fields, uh, and you see that there are many, many, much area that has been like chopped down uh, and you can see that there are also um, there are some ch I don't have tokens for them but there are some Chalton uh, workers down here uh, uh, some scouts 
out in the out in the pits and they're in the middle of like putting these things in and you see that a few of them are far off probably about 100 feet away from the camp towards the jungle line chopping wood to cut and carve into new spikes and they're pulling out old spikes and putting in new ones and they are working quite hard and you can hear the sounds of picks and shovels tools that they had brought out here with them um and they are they are digging the pits a little deeper putting a couple more spikes in doing the best they can to defend the situation so she's looking out over this um are these pits enclosed like is this a trench yeah it's a trench absolutely she, um go ahead She's got a smile on her face. Um, so what she's gonna? Oh, ooh, I'm trapped. You want to step back out? I'm free. I'm no. free. <laughs> all right, hey, Kyle. <laughs> okay. All right. Fine. Um, I have to. <laughs> I jumped off the tower and I ran for it. All right, you climb uh, down the tower. So, um, this is. She's probably dealing with the scouts, but Valoria has. A an idea, and she wants to talk to somebody who she at least likes more than the captain. Guess who? Valphine shows up. I think. Um, if you want to talk to her, she she I think she finds you guys you more than before you find oh. her. All right. Uh, Valphine, you can move yourself over. You said you were heading um, over in that direction. Closer, yeah. You kept you definitely catch uh, Valeria's eyes. She's climbing down from a tower, or Alexandria rather. Wave. Wave of approval. Does she? She looks suspicious. I'm guessing. A little bit. I think you can hear behind her. Oi! Oi! Prisoners of escape! Just like, you gotta like hear. Oh, he's like, prisoners of escape! And he's like looking around, and like no one looks super concerned. And you can see this individual all the way back here in armor. Like looking over where there were prisoners before. Oh, for the bridge! And he's he's running back over in that direction. <laughs> oh, I don't think he sounded like that originally. I think he sounded a little, that's how he sounds when he's panicked. He goes really high pitched. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you hear that as Valphine kind of approaches a little suspiciously. No one else notices. Enjoy your trip to the bathroom. It was great. I had a good time. Yeah, you know, um, I often have to go to the bathroom myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, me too. Um, so... I have an idea, come with me. Okay. I'll follow you. Do we... So we're gonna walk right in front of the tent, like... We're gonna we're gonna talk to uh, the captain lady up here. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, she's in the midst of speaking with a soldier who looks uh, a, a pretty tired and like is just sort of whispering to her more than anything, and she's listening in. Um, I think as you guys step up, uh, she'll just say, "Thank you, thank you for that information. Please find one of the tents, get some rest." And it's just, uh, okay, okay, Captain, so I wanna. And he moves uh, past. Uh, uh, he moves past her and, and finds finds rest with the rest of the, uh, the the scouts who have made their way back. And she looks like she's contemplating something. Like she stops and she's just sitting there. She's got that long black hair. She's still got her iron boots on. Uh, I have a very good vision of this of her in my head. It was fucking emerald eyes, uh, but uh, she's great. <laughs> anyway, she's sitting there. Uh, she's sitting there like contemplating something. What do you uh, What do you guys do? Got Captain. Four she looks up. Hello. Um, I I don't believe I've been properly introduced. Um, oh, wait. No, yes. No, I have. We, we talked yeah. to your uh, practically uh, son no. over there. Uh, no, I apologize. I'm... Yes. <laughs> Valoria. That's correct. My son. <laughs> He's not quite my son. My apprentice, maybe. Um, uh, thank you again for sharing with him. I... He, he's, he's a good boy. Um, and uh, I think she looks over to see uh, Valphine. She's looking for someone she hasn't met. She's like a greeting would be easy for her right now. So she's almost like searching for it. Oh, you. I have not met you. Um, hello. Uh, my name is Captain Selkana, second in command of the camp. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Uh, you are with uh, these other fine folk and the dwarf who is not here. Um, 
At which point, I think I think Brolin I think Brolin would come in for a second because he might be turned back in this direction as well, combining our party. Brolin, as you approach uh, uh, Firebrand, you see a very angry, he's mad, he's frustrated. He says, um, "Oh, wait. Uh, dang it! I'm a dwarf. Okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What do you mean, not gone? What are you talking about?" And as uh, Brolin, you come up, Neil say, "Brolin." And he says, I just heard some bad news. Come with me. And he, wow. uh... All right, wait, what's over. going on? He says, apparently, our prisoners have escaped. And then he comes over, and he looks, and he's like, yeah, that is bad as bones. I was so fucking untied, and we went looking. I knew we should have put him somewhere quicker. And he looks, he's like, where is... And the, and the, the guy's like, that's what I was suggesting. We put him in a medical camp where they could be watched. I, I have duties now. And he's like, ay, 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 ay. And he's just like, if you go about your business, I'll handle this. And, uh, and he's just like, oh, I'm sure. And he's like, well, you bloody failed enough as it is. So get out of here. And he's just like, oh, uh, uh, just can't. And he's like, scold you later. Dwarf, dwarf, go back to dwarf. Okay. And uh, he's, uh, this guy just leaves over to help with uh, things. He says, says, come after. I need a dwarf allow me to call my rage. <laughs> And this is another go inform Commander Breakbone. I have lost these prisoners. Who's going to talk like looking here. around in the meantime. I've gotten far. I, I, I kind of like make sure we're walking slow as not to be around people. And I, yeah. I tell him, like, listen, you know, it sucks that your prisoners escaped and everything. But uh, <laughs> I think you've got a bigger problem. There's about, about 50 problems. One's the undead, and I got the bugs. I'm out of booze. We drank it all last night. I got a lot of problems on my hand, Roland. How about, the, <laughs> how about in the last 30 minutes? I've seen three people try to plan to escape this place. This is escape. Who? Name. I don't. I, I don't know names, but I will tell you something. Firebeard. That's his name, right? Firebrand. Fire, firebrand. You got a problem here. This camp is scared. There's no real plan. Of course they're scared. And there is a plan. You just weren't there to hear it. From what I remember, from what it sounded like outside the tent, you got your ass kicked. <laughs> you <laughs> punched me really hard in the yeah, face. I've been sucked by Sol Holler before. It's not in fun. <laughs> yeah, she's my a wild one. <laughs> yeah, she's a she good a dwarf. She'd be in my love of my life, but uh, she's in... <laughs> yeah, a little bit Bloody too tall. tall one. Oh so... yeah, too tall. <laughs> this two dwarfs are great. <laughs> <laughs> too tall. Says, and he, and he says anyway, enough ogling that the, the command. And he says, I. He says we got a lot of trouble. Of course, a lot are scared, and we've dealt with mutineers a couple times. It's nothing new, but if you know what they look like, you can tell me. And Commander oh, Rainbow, and we're heading just to the more, right now. Just that's what I'm trying to get at here. Some of that conversation has been to that man. No, I don't know that man. I don't talk to him. He doesn't come to talk to me. But the way, but the way he, I've I've talked to him maybe a couple of times. Talking he, about Commander Breakbone. Yeah. And I know your order. I respect your order. But something doesn't seem right. He says, no. I imagine it's not right, Brolin. We're two fucking dwarves in the middle of the goddamn jungle with a big old wall surrounding us while the fucking dead rise and come to kill us. Nothing's been right since I get here. And honestly, I've been... Yeah, I've been getting used to it, though. But in, all in all, it's pretty <laughs> bad. <laughs> and I'm, it's just, there are a lot of problems in this place. Commander Breakbone's got a lot to deal with, and it's enough that he has to break up command between his us, his council, and find out how to get this fucking camp running ship shape. But and don't you find that he's he's been in his tent? He's been in his tent the entire day. He says, yeah, that's kind of where he is. He's not really much of a fighter. He's not as skinny on the bones, but he's a good commander. I mean, judging by the look of your men, doesn't seem like he is. He just goes, listen, Brolin, make a, per make a persuasion charisma check. 
No. <laughs> oh? He's about to get a new prisoner. <laughs> uh, I want to see how you do it, like, cause you, 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 you. I'm, I'm not giving you disadvantage, cause you would have gotten disadvantage for that. I'm not giving you disadvantage because of your time with him before. So you get a regular roll. Regular roll. Regular roll. Oh no. <laughs> he goes. He gets close and he says, "Listen, I don't know where you're from, or what kind of clan you were a part of, or are a part of, or what, Brolin." Whatever your last name is, <laughs> and he says, "He says you tell me your clan name, so I don't know it." But, and he just says, "This place is my family. If you've ever been part of a stronghold, part of a clan, you make that family yours, and you die, and you bleed, and you sweat, and you do whatever you need to do to keep that family." I break bones, a bit hot-headed, a bit ill-mannered sometimes, and he comes off a bit sore for some people. He's a strong-willed man, but I consider him a, a fellow dwarf as much as I do you. This is my family, and I will not sacrifice. I will not sacrifice. I will, I will stand by the orders, my commander gives me, knowing that they come from the higher up, my bigger family, the order itself. We are a stronghold and we stand together. Take your steeds. This is because of our friendship before, because of what, what good hospitality you showed me, yes, last night. I won't take your words and bring them to Great Boom, because he'd have you strung up right quick. But. I... I understand your concerns. Just keep to your own. And we'll keep to ours. Got that? And, uh... I don't know who you saw saying anything. But keep it to yourself. It'll be best for your own safety. You can find your friends now. I say... I say to him... I nod. That's... I nod sternly as I break firebeard. Brand. Brett Firebrand. Dwarf to dwarf, I respect you. You're I a dwarf. Totally... Sorry. You're a dwarf's dwarf. I see I can't. I can't. I'll fight by your side in this. Thick and thin. He kind of just looks at you real quick and just kind of shakes his head a little bit and then just goes. <sighs> If I see you on the battlefield, don't think I won't fight beside you, like you or anyone else. Just, you can question your own doings, but don't question ours. And he goes to step away. He's stepping away for the for the, for the the command tent. You can follow him and break off if you want. You see your friends in the courtyard. Alex, what were you going to say? I thought it was something good. Uh, I totally think that Brolin is actually saying Firebeard. Fire. I think so. <laughs> I was actually saying Firebeard until I reread the name. Um, yeah, he's going in. He's going in the tent to inform Niles Breakbone of the of the breakout, uh, and uh, it's definitely a heated conversation. You know, um, I, I'm a, I'm a little dis I'm a little disappointed. Woke out there for a few seconds. My internet chopped out, but that was a really intense conversation. Oh man, there was so much good well, stuff. There was so much good there, stuff. There was. I got I got ninety percent of it. I was right, cool, cool. I I was just like, where where are you headed, Roman? Defeated with that point, he's gonna go. He's gonna go see that giant turtle man with all his friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're going to the oh to see the uh, what war? Yeah, I'm gonna go see that giant. That giant. Who else is a giant turtle in this game? No, no, no one else. I just was. <laughs> it's all good. Um, so yeah, you guys are like surrounding Sahala, and she's just wondering what it is that you guys like, because Val uh, Valoria, aka Val uh, Alexandria, um, <laughs> aka Valoria, aka <laughs> Valphine, because I can't tell the difference apparently <laughs> between the names. Um, <laughs> uh, the your uh, yeah, you, uh, it was Alexandria. Yes, Captain. Yes, uh, um, uh, Alexandria. What are the plans for the well? The trench with all the spikes in it. She says, 
Oh, I would have hoped that that uh, War or Steer would have filled you in on the plan, but I imagine they might have been quite busy. Um, the plan, as has been laid out by Commander Breakbone and approved by his council, we muster up our defenses, increase the uh, fatality of our uh, of our killing pits surrounding us. We have to set fires that will blaze before nightfall within the 300 foot radius of the camp to allow our archers to see what undead approach. We are going to use, um, we are going to use arrows. And she kind of, she what? has no faith in that, in the moment, like no faith in those words as she says, we're going to use a reserve of arrows. Please save, save your breath. That's not, do you have any oil? She says, um, as far as I know, camp um, resources, what oil we would still have would be under lock and key um, as uh, dictated to be portioned out by break. Commander. Great, that's perfect. Do you what have do you a have? lot of oil? I don't think so. I think we probably have last time it's been a while since I've been in there, there could be less, maybe five vials. Just vials? It's almost as if we needed a jug, a thing that could create so, gallons for of... The most, which is for the most already part, been used for today, I bet. For the most part, oil, um, oil is used in the camp to keep um, uh, uh, fires lit uh, in... What I don't know what they would use oil for. I don't want to say something that you're like, that's stupid. <laughs> so no, she, no. she gives a good camp reason as to why. I was going to say fires lit when the rains and winds are strong. Um, and for uh, other things, possibly to uh, grease certain areas uh, of the of the fortifications if they're having difficulty moving things, uh, they're used very seldomly. But they they might have some. I ask because I have this moat could be more of a boon to us than it is already. The trench looks deep enough to hold water. Oil will float on water. I can fill these moats myself, and if you have enough oil when the time is right, we can light the entire moat ablaze, which will also serve to provide the light you seek. And if any of the undead seek to cross that threshold, they will be slowed by the water and burned by the oil, which will be on fire. She looks to you, and as she hears it, you can tell there's like another conversation happening inside of her head that's kind of competing with yours. Like, you can see she's taking it in, but it's coming, it's processing pretty slowly. She's got something else on her mind. And she just says, I... That's a, that is a very... That is a very good plan. Quite flashy. One that perhaps Commander Breakbone would be interested in. Um, and she just seems, like, at a loss for a moment. She says, I... I have a plan as well, though I'm not so sure how it will go. Perhaps we can go in together and pitch our ideas, but if you would let me go first. What is on your mind? It seems to be weighing heavily. I... Is there a way I can help with that, perhaps? She says... Um... Uh, and she like looks around to see if it's like, a good idea to say anything. Perhaps it'd be best that you learn my plan when I when I uh, uh, show it to Niles Breakbone in in privacy of his tent. I, I don't want to give any kind of wrong ideas to those who might hear our words out here. All right. Would, well, I'd be happy, happy to accompany you then. Yeah. What are the rest of you doing? You can hear this. Com Any of you can hear this conversation. It's happening and watch. It's public. Uh, do I? Am I? Have I walked here yet, or...? Yeah, I think she'll see you and just go, Oh, um... Uh, for, she seems like I'm... Uh, and she just kind of, like, thinks for a minute. She's just like, I, um... You were an ass before. That's why I struck you. It's like, sorry. It's uh, like, you throw a mean hook, lady. Uh, next yeah. time we'll... Next, next time we'll fight fancies, okay? Next time, hopefully, you will show respect to those of rank, and perhaps our fight will be of mutual um, consent. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> That's what a fight is. 
<laughs> and uh, she and she uh, she's like, I'm sorry, I'm entirely distracted. I excuse me. I and she kind of like looks to the rest of you. Anybody want to say something else to her or follow her? She seems really adamant about looking at the uh, getting into the camp. We're just gonna try to like catch her eye real quick, and then just give her a nod of, of like approval of whatever she's thinking. Yeah, she's uh, like, not knowing trying. what it is. I think we should all go help with the killing pits. <laughs> um, uh, uh, yeah. Um, the, 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 you know that the gates are closed and they don't open without order of a banner break phone, but if you want to try to do something about that, that's up to you, friend. Um, but the, uh, <clears throat> she's, she seems distracted. She's walking away, but then, like, towards it, like, Valoria, I imagine, behind her, but she can hear how angry Val's breakbone is with, with Ord Firebrand. And, and, um, as she approaches, she just kind of, like, second guesses maybe it's not the best time. And Ord Firebrand comes out, and he's like, Well, <clears throat> Ma's got you, Doubt. Uh, um, you might not be looking at a captain much longer. Uh, I'm gonna go take a piss. And he just kind of moves <laughs> <laughs> he just he just go he just moves over, and uh, looks kind of like a little distraught, um, and moves out. And uh, I think you hear what sounds like a um, something like a table being flipped or something, something getting thrown over. Like there's a lot of anger, and Salhala just stops. And she's like, I don't know if this is the right time. And she looks to you, Valoria, for reassurance on that. Gloria sighs, wishing she had more points in charisma, and says, well, this really isn't the time for held words and future regrets. You should speak your mind now, especially if it will benefit us in the future. It certainly would suck if we all died when a better plan was able to be enacted. She says, I am there's simply an opportunity that I didn't think we had before that we have. I And before she can say another word, you hear a call come up from the guard tower. Captain Shahola! And she looks up, she's cut off, she says, Soldier, yes! She says, On dead on the horizon! And she just immediately, like, her, her expression, like, whitens a little bit. And she, her, her complexion. And she just takes a breath and immediately starts moving up uh, to the um, to, to where she can see. And as he yells that out, you hear it spread quite quickly. On the horizon! On the horizon! And it just, uh, each tower is like calling. And I think you can, you can hear like uh, some of the, some of the people outside like uh, call for it. And they're starting to like, like panic a little bit. Um, uh, and I, I believe what, um, I mean, you guys can do the same thing. What are you guys doing? You see Captain Sahala just climbing the shit out of this fucking ladder. She needs to get up. She needs to see what's going on. What are you guys doing? Well, I can't avoid not looking at it. Yeah. The camp is, uh, all bustle. You just hear, to the horizon! To the horizon! Are there still people outside the gates, like, doing the pit stuff? There are currently, um... Uh, you don't know the whole situation, how far they are or where they're at, but there there might be some panic outside, for sure. Um, okay. What are you doing? Uh, he'll probably stay downstairs near the yeah. gate. Yeah, Sahala takes a, a telescope from, from one of the veterans immediately. She just grabs it. Uh, Brolin, Valfing, what are you guys doing? And Asteria, wherever you wait, where'd my Asteria go? I went up to a different tower. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's one where everyone's going in this moment. I don't mind moving into that dark, imposing area next to me. Okay. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, cl I'll climb up. I'll climb, climb up with Valoria up there. Uh, to where you should be able to see. Valfine. I'm not moving. I look down and close my eyes, kind of. You see my break, hands over my ears. You see Breakbone step out of his tent, and he just has a. He looks frustrated, and he just has a look on his face of like, damn it. 
and he steps out and just to see what's going on and he hears the undead on the horizon and he seems flustered but he's staying where he is he's not moving um so valoria brolin hysteria um when you get to the tops of these towers uh respectfully it is a distance probably a mile maybe almost coming into two where the the curvature of the earth is blocking your your sight but you can see on the horizon a line uh of and oh, you're looking out to the south you are looking out to the south um this also calls for music change absolutely um the, the dead approach um you see a uh, you look out into the opening the mouth of river ocean star as it spills out into the arafi basin um or the aldani basin sorry I'm a, <laughs> no, we're not in world of warcraft <laughs> uh, <laughs> the alliance I know, I know we're, yeah. there we're bringing it down we're bringing it down aldani basin we're bringing it down so you see a line it stretches quite far you cannot quite see the end of it but it is just a single line and i think i think you can like barely see the ends on either side but it's a horde it's a horde all right but it is it is in the distance they are still out in the basin at least a mile a mile and a half and you see uh you see uh salhana take her uh take out her her uh the the telescope and look a, a la- around the line and she sees them and she's like huh oh, i'm not sure how many she says they're lined up not in not in ranks but in a perfect line i count maybe 50. three ogres and others and she says those with the mark and she hands it over to the first person next to her. Who is it? Um, probably one of those other guys she's next to. Well, uh, right. oh, uh, Valoria. It's, I think Valoria is closest to her. I think she'll hand it over. She's just looking out. Oh, boy. Oh, this I might, guess this I'll might look... be the wrong one. This is the one we want. I think I want the little more calm one. <laughs> A little more calm, not quite so pretty scary. Pretty intense. Yeah. Not so, not so scary. Uh, this one, this one is more what they see. She, as you look through, you see what she sees, but it's they have the the like the the way the sun is reflecting off of the off of the basin, as as it as it the as it's made like so far, like you can only just sort of see the silhouettes of these individuals, and they are just like standing there, like arms out. Like the, like a little bit like this, like hanging at their side, and they are perfectly spaced. And yeah, you're not sure how many, fifty, maybe a hundred. Like it's hard to come from here because you like sort of lose vision. They're so far off. Um, and you see also just the like the, the lumbering, what looks to be just some sort of refuse pile, but no, it's these ogres. You see three of them uh, back behind this force. And I think I think you hear Sohana. That's that's not even half. Of and uh, she, uh, like more, went into the jungle, as, as I had said during our meeting. There's another force. She says, and she's, and she looks. She's like, they're not moving, though. They're just standing there. And she looks. She's like, soldier. When did you see them? She goes, just uh, to the horizon one minute, and the next minute they were there, just all standing there, not doing anything, about a mile off. They're just standing in the basin. And uh, she's just like, what the two? And you Valoria. look, they're still as class. What's what's Valoria? You go ahead. Valoria is gonna turn white a little bit because she is she is remembering a trick that uh, she used to pull to steal goods from people, and that was to have one person be horribly clumsy and distracting while somebody else does something behind them, and. She is going to say, Captain, there are scouts on the other side of the camp, right? Yes, yes, they should all be alerted. Uh, and she, she looks to a guard and she says, Give a call. Make sure we don't see anything. And he just says, Forbes Wisdom! 
And I just hear back, Helm strength! Helm strength! Helm strength! Helm strength! All the way around. And it's just like, no other sightings. So she's gonna, she'll hand the, well, actually, can she see the markings through that? Like she said the marked ones were there? You just see a few of these individuals as they stand in front of the lines, not behind them. Uh, uh, in front of the lines, you see these individuals who just look like other undead. They're very, it's a blurry image. You're looking at like just a blur of a black spot, basically, that looks almost hum humanoid. And you can just see a single, a single little light kind of just flicker, like, because it's kind of hard to, for it to be noticed at this distance. Just a small blue hue right upon their forehead. And there's, there's a few of them. Three, I think. You can see each lined up. So, yeah, uh, I can't see it too clearly, so I'm not going to ask for any checks that related, but she will hand the looking glass off to the side, not even looking at who she's handing it to. Oh, the soldier oh. takes it. Oh. <laughs> oh, Brolin might take it, yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I her, take it. Her hand is is uh is shaking a little bit. Um, and Bro and Brolin notices Brolin notices that when you when he's about to look into it. Yeah. He, yeah, he takes a look at the the yeah, the army and he sees if he can see this mark. <clears throat> so Brolin, you've he... lived in Port Nine Zara for a while. Yeah. Just that is a big horde for even Port Nine Zaru. Oh. That would be considered big. Defendable, have, but but a problem. Have have I seen that mark before? Have I heard of that mark before? I don't Living think you've in... ever seen anything like that, no. Um, Wait, you I think was it clear enough a, to identify? Give me a history check. It's uh though. Um, it's clear okay. enough to identify, but I want to know, like, because anybody, you're from Chult. Anybody else would not actually know what this mark is so much, but uh, you're from Chult. Give me just a quick history check. Bro, just a quick... I want to see what it's you know. One. Even if you do, like, crazy, you're only going to know so much. Because the Chultons keep it pretty much to themselves. I got a 13. A 13. You know of a... Um, you know that the Chaltons don't talk about that mark. You know it's associated with a kind of boogeyman. But it's it's Chalton tales. Do I do I know that story? Do I know like that boogeyman character? No, I've never shared with you. Never, never shared. shared with you. Chaltons do not share that story. And I, I I'll look through that glass for a few minutes and I say that horde. And I hand it back to the captain. I say, that horde? And I'm looking her dead in the eye. I say, that horde is big. Even for the port. He says, I know. I need to get to Commander Breakbone right now. He must hear what I have to say. And uh, she, she's like keep rushing to go down. Um, so those who, those who didn't participate, well, Asteria, what's, what are you doing over here? Like, what's, what is your experience like? Uh, I am look down towards the uh, where they are seeing the horde but I'm also looking to see who's still outside um, you see that there are there are Charlton still digging in, in, in the ditches they look concerned and they look like they're getting ready to sort of gather at the uh, you see about five uh, Charltons who were probably digging in the in the trenches along with the an elven um, might be hard to see because they're all they're all kind of by there you would be able to see them though they're they're by the uh, the entrance and they seem wary and like these the horde is at enough of a distance that um they are un they, like they're worried like they want to be let in like they're uncomfortable um but they're kind of waiting for orders and commands but they're like staying out of the pit right now um and uh yeah that's the situation did you want to was there something you want to do or respond to uh, I tell them they should all get inside. Um, uh, there's we'll probably there's Lorsa, likely to be ambushed. Lorsa responds and she just says, "The gates have to be open. Uh, speak to Commander Breakbone or 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 or, or Firebeard or Sahala. See if we can get these gates open." And uh, um, it's like they're, they're quite far off, but uh, I'm uncomfortable. This this is what this elf elf woman is saying. Imagine my uh, my friends here are as well, and um, I think we skip back to a rather tense 
moment. And I think this this uh, I think this this music is perfect for it. Salhala is sort of rushing towards uh, Breakbone's tent, and he immediately, as she approaches, he just flourishes the the like a little. Now he just kind of like just like lets the lets the, the he looks like pissed, like he's got like a brow thing, like damn it. Damn it. And he he just moves back into the into his tent. Like he doesn't want to talk outside. She's got to come in for him, kind of thing. Which she immediately does. She pushes in. Is anybody following Salhana? I'm attached to her hip at this point. All right. Just because. Yeah, I want to go too. Brolin is. Brolin is. Yeah, he's. He's not doing too good. I'm gonna go find the other elf, because. Oh okay. And have, make see if he can't. At least get the yeah. other people inside. Yeah, that's where you're going. Uh, so, War and Dolphin, then, what are you guys doing? I'll show you where he is. Uh, War's looking around to see if, since they went off into the tent, he's going to look for uh, Firebrand. Oh, okay, yeah. You go you go searching for Firebrand. He's, yeah, cool. I'm going to put you there where you're going to find him. Yeah. Uh, Dolphin, what are you doing? I kind of stumble backwards. And I sit on this barrel and kind of wince as I I rub the center of my back, having trouble with with something. Valfing, make a Constitution saving throw. Or yeah. You know. Okay. I'm gonna send this right. Go for it. You start to feel the pain. It hurts in your back. You know what this is, but you're, you know, trying to manage it. And then all of a sudden, you start to feel like your head hurts. An ache starts to happen, and your vision starts to blur. And um, you're just like, oh, what is that? And you kind of shake it off for a minute. You're like, oh, jeez. And you hear a voice. That hurt. What? This is, looks like you got a wound. You turn to see a individual, a, um, a soldier. He is dressed in, in the wear. It's a little bit torn, a little bit worn in places, a little bit ripped up. Looks like he's probably seen some combat. Maybe recently, you're not sure. And he, um, he's he got this dusty black hair and these freckles, these sharp tones uh, and features to his face. And he just goes, looks like it hurts at all. It's annoying. Start, start shaking slightly. I don't see anything. Um, yeah, looking around, like, everything seems pretty normal in your periphery, but it's kind of just, like, you feel a little alone with this person. You're just like, they're playing something, I've seen it before, with, um, and he's, like, crouching nearby. He's like, I, no, actually, I think he's sitting, and he's sitting right on the barrels that are behind you, and he's not even looking at you. I've seen it before. A few uh, soldiers with a certain type of pain lasts with them, doesn't quite go away. Oh, it's Crowley. Sergeant Crowley. Don't believe we've met. Don't touch me. He goes, oh, hmm. my apologies. Not the, uh, not the friendly type. I'll see. And he sees peeling a potato. He's just like, Quite like the predicament we've got ourselves in here, don't you think? Undead, surrounding us on all sides. Eventually, I imagine. I don't want to be eaten alive, do you? Sucks. Um, Balfin. You're used to the heat of the jungle at this point. It's a little cold. All of a sudden, a cool breeze. 
makes its way through, drops the temperature 10 degrees, makes it a little... It's nice, actually. This is... People find themselves in these kind of predicaments, and it just... Oh, it gets, uh... Worse and worse and worse. This is... You know... I was thinking... This place kind of sucks. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. I'm claustrophobic, right? Can't move! Walls on all sides. Keeping us in. Can't leave, commanders. Be off his rocker. It's a uh, prison. I hate prisons. I'm terrible. Everybody tries to build walls around you, keep you safe, but really they're just keeping you in. Listen. You don't look like you want to be here. Am I right? I don't know. I think I'm right. Oh, I'm right. Who would want to be here? This is right now. I, um... Mm. Mm. I'm on know a guy. Um, Asteria, make a... This is Asteria. I am going for Asteria. Make a... Make a religion check. Alright. Um, cool. I'll save that. Um, he says... See, I, uh, <clears throat> I don't exactly work for the uh, Order of the Gauntlet. Don't tell anyone. I'm here mostly for uh, mutual gain, you know what I mean? But this place has turned sour quite quick. Quite quick it has, and I'm looking to bail out. I see, I, uh, I work for a guy who specializes in escapes. Walls are high, doors are closed. I want to climb from the killing pits. It's quite dangerous. I might be able to get you out of here. Lean forward. You don't know me, okay? You you just you don't. You don't know me. Okay. Alright. You um all right. Fine. Fine. You don't want my help, you won't get it. See if I care when you pile a pile of corpse. Shut up. Just stop talking. And he just says, Oh, well, you don't like this. Talking. Leave me alone. Make a constitution save. All right, he just says, of course, of course, of course. I'm a man of the law, I follow the law. And you start to, uh, you start to feel that headache come on again. He walks away behind you. You try to turn to see him walk away. And you can't, the pain is just, oh! And it, it almost blacks out one eye. And, and then just like brain freeze, it dissipates. And you turn around and look and you don't see the soldier Crowley. He's gone. Um, I'm gonna move over to a few other people really quick. Uh, Valoria is right next to Salhana, along with Brolin. But I think we've waited on war for a while here. Yes. What is war doing? Yeah, what is war doing? Uh, so he's walking up to Captain Firebrand. Fucking asshole. Firebrand. What? There are people outside the walls. The undead have been spotted. We need to get them inside. <laughs> Sahala says, and Breakbone are in the tent arguing or whatever they're doing. We need to do this now. This is listen. All right. You who are you? Ward? You're the. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you're with them. 
I've disobeyed enough orders for one day, and I'm not looking for a demotion anytime soon. The doors stay closed unless fucking break bones says they open, okay? No matter how much. Fine. And he just walks away in the middle of that sentence and starts going towards the tent entrance. Don't you go doing anything stupid. Oh no, war is pissed. Yeah. <laughs> the turtle uh, is angry. <laughs> All right, yeah, you go over oh, over there. Yeah, Firebrand. Firebrand was not the guy to talk to there. He's, he's fired up. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you all uh, step in war a little bit after, at which point Niles Breakbone is sitting there looking at all of his maps, all that he has, and kind of sorting, just kind of like moving some around, just kind of slightly to the side, just to see if he can find something, anything, in answer to the, to the situation other than uh, what his plan was before. And I think you look up, as Salhana opens the like, commander, and she just comes in, she seems all riled up, and, and Breakbone seems as, as calm as a cucumber, and just says, have the fires been lit yet, Salhana? We'll need to get them lit soon. The undead are at least a mile away. When they so choose to advance, I want to make sure we are fully prepared. How goes the pits? He looks up at her and says, Commander, I have received news. Critical news. He says, then, by all means, explain. And uh, she says, the scouts that returned, some of those that we were able to save, one of them received a message from the east, northeast, to be perhaps. The undead have not yet circled around. They will not enter goblin territory for whatever reason. An escape route is possible. We can go north. We can leave. Back to Port Nianzaro, back to... And he just puts a hand up, and he has a concerned look on his face. Salhana, hold your tongue. Did you forget our mission? Did you forget everything you came here for? You would turn tail and run. Says, this is not a winning battle, Commander. He says, you speak out of line. Can I... Can, can, can Roland say something? Mm, yeah, you can. Um, you, um, just a sec. Let me gather my thoughts because I think you wouldn't be able to cut in just yet because Breakbone okay, has something okay, to say. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. He'll say, I will not have another repeat of Camp Righteous. It will not happen again. This ground has been consecrated. It is holy. It belongs to Tor, Tyr, and Hell. And we will guard it for them. Our plan is stable. You are losing faith, Captain. Do I need to relieve you? At which point, yeah, what do you want to step in and say something? Uh, maybe initiative if there's <clears throat> multiple people. And this is when war I figured, wants it. Yeah, do I was going to say. Relieve you? And I, I just say. I, I, do multiple people want to say something right oh, now? Oh, yeah, let me, let me, yeah, let me is roll. Is it just Berlin? Is everyone cool with Berlin speaking first? I think we should roll initiative. I mean, yeah, war's Roland, bursting Roland in. Roland. Roland's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that all happened first, but go ahead and roll initiative. Oh, no, he were not selected. I will add him. Six. I just need one from the warrior. <laughs> we are all uh, too slow. I mean, I'll roll, but she's not you trying to, to interrupt anybody here. No, you don't have to. Um. Uh, I will. I will jump over to Asteria. Uh, I, I think you're you're in the middle of talking about getting these gates open. I think we're going to jump back and forth. I want to get to Asteria trying to get these gates open, and also what's happening with Alfin. Uh But there's something else for you, Asteria, that I will say in a, in a moment at the beginning of your turn. It's all very intense. So he says, "I do. Must I relieve you?" At which point, uh, Brolin, what do you want to say? Or War? War? You would be first to act. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, hearing that as he walked in, he probably would have like gone from like super fast to like taking a slow step and I'll just let try to t assess the situation and I'm gonna skip my turn this one alright Brolin I go his name is Breakbone right yep commander yep. Breakbone Niles Breakbone. <laughs> and Brolin Breakbone. will say, Brolin will say this call he's a like, commander Breakbone I am a native of this land I've been ra I've I've raised I've been raised in Shelt all my life. The horde that I just saw the, all the only thing that could withstand it is is 
these poor knights are. There's that many out there. You can go look yourself. I don't need to look, dwarf. I'm sorry, I don't believe I fully caught your name. Roland. Fireforge. He looks over to War, one of yours. Yes, I believe. Yes. At which point he uh, looks and he says, I don't believe that, though your opinion may be an expert one, that you have any rank to speak here. You and others in this tent who are not Captain Selhana may be dismissed. This is a conversation that I must have with my captain to question her sanity. Oh, no! <laughs> I would speak at this point. I, oh. The lawyer doesn't go anywhere. Mm. Yeah, you stay there? All right, uh, I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not. I got. I got to say it. This is brawling with saying it. It's like, with all due respect, sir, at this point, I'm questioning yours. He looks to you and he says, Oh, is that right? Selhana, does this dwarf speak for you? It's just, Commander, no, no, but I believe his concerns are valid. I... We are all scared of what is coming, and there isn't, and he puts a hand up again, and he just says, the dwarf does not speak for you, then fine. Brolin, was it? I'm not sure you're aware of the situation that you are putting yourself in. If you haven't been yet introduced to me, I am Niles Breakbone, commander of Camp Vengeance. I have been instilled with the power of the law of the gods by the High Clerics of Mount Sumber. And if you would for once even question my sanity, I would question yours just as quickly. So I would choose your next words very carefully. Roland just kind of looks at this man, like, he kind of just looks at him like, this war, I expect you to keep your underlings handled. Biting his lip. Biting his lip. This, Bite his... His lip. this is the war. first time I... Uh... What did he say? Wait, what, what, what? This is the first time Valoria has uh, come across being an underling to war. I don't know how she feels about that. She says, I have chosen war among you. All of you, those who have entered as the de facto leader, and I have that right. He speaks for you when you cannot. But war, that makes this dwarf your responsibility. He has spoken out to me, the commander of this camp. It is not my position to punish soldiers that are not mine. So How loud is he speaking anyways? Not right now. Uh, but he is a bit loud uh, in this tent. And he's like, I believe, though, that that is beside the point. I gave an order for those of anyone who's not Captain Sohana to be dismissed. My command stands strong. So those who are not her will leave. Or is disobedience a sickness that I must heal within this camp? War says... I'll leave, but I'd ask you to give another command to open the gate to bring the people outside in. It looks the undead says, are on our fringes. How far are the undead from our borders, from our walls? From what I heard from the tops of the towers, a mile off, yes? They are safe enough. Those trenches need to be dug, and fires need to be lit. If this camp is to survive, I need complete and utter loyalty from my 
soldiers. If not, then you have surrendered yourselves to death. There is no retreat from this camp. War's gonna back up and hold the door open and say, Brolin, Valoria, or Alexandra. Hmm. And yeah, he like, he, Drakebone waits, crosses his hands for you all to leave. He's, when he's looking at Valo uh, Alexandria, he's going to mouth please <laughs> without saying anything. He is on his high horse right now, too. Like, he's standing behind this desk. It's got, got a little platform that goes up a little bit higher, and he's just kind of looking down at her. <sighs> Valoria sighs and looks at the table. She's kind of, gonna flip it. She's got her arm crossed in front of her, her elbow on her arm, kind of poking her lower lip as she's deep in thought. Then she'll turn on her heels and start walking out and sigh, probably a little too loudly. Why, deja vu is hitting hard today. Feels like Camp Righteous in here. <laughs> You want him to hear? <laughs> uh, she, she's saying it under her breath. So. Savage. Okay, I think Sahala hears it. Yeah, that's Sahala. Yeah. So does everyone step out? Raycon is waiting. He's no patience with this man. Yeah, he's Roland's gonna turn him. He's red. He's pissed. At which point you hear a conversation happening within the tent. No raised voices, but a conversation. We're standing right outside the door. Do you want to try to listen in? He is, yeah, I guess he would be to the side of the door a little bit to make sure that if there's any violence going on inside, he's going in. Okay. Um, make perception checks from both of you. What's Valoria doing? I want to find a sister. Um, the sister... Who, which sister? The elf sister? Uh, let me find her name. Cirrus. Oh, Cirrus, yeah. Cyrus. She's in one of, she's in, she's in one of the, uh, she's in one of the camps. She, she's got a couple of, she's right here. She's got a couple of soldiers she's trying to get to see if they feel better. She's healing a few of their wounds, making sure they have weapons and see if they can wield them. Um, yeah. Oh, so medical, the medical, uh, doctor is the one person who can remove the commander. That's, that's actually what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> um, can, yeah. can I roll a perception, Ed? Because I'm next to the tent, too. What are you? Oh, yeah. You can both warn for Broly. can roll perception yeah. to see the conversation. I want to dip back to Asteria, and then I want to jump over to Belfine. Um, so the camp, uh, just to give the camp, like, everybody is moving very quickly. Um, and, uh, like, a uh, yeah, an order hasn't come over the walls yet for those outside to keep working. They're still waiting. That'll probably conclude with whatever conversation Niles, Breakbone, and Salhana have to see what the situation is there, which I might have to roll for, but we'll see. Um, so we'll step over to Asteria. Asteria, you see, uh, you see Wolf, and he is in the middle of trying to, he's very concentrated, trying to make sure... There are four parapets. Like he's he's in command of a parapet here and right in front of him, and two by the goat shelter where those two guards are. What are you doing when you approach him? I uh, his attention. I get his attention and make a point that the yes. uh, there are people outside still. He looks and he says, and he kind of looks for a moment and he just says. Sora, oh, that's right. Um, uh, uh, excuse me. And he uh, he moves past you, and uh, and uh, toward Niles Breakbone's tent. Did you want to say anything else soon as he passes you? Uh, no. I I mostly just want him, I wanted him to try and get people inside because Niles Breakbone hates me. <laughs> okay. Oh, you say that to him? <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll yeah. He uh, nah. <laughs> Okay, we'll leave that out. Uh, so what was the full thing that you said to him as he left you? I couldn't hear the whole thing. Uh, I was just... Uh, I just wanted him to know that people were outside still. 
So yeah, he, he, he has a... says his sister's name and starts to panic a little bit, like he could almost forgot, like a fool. Um, and he is uh, he's heading toward the toward the tent, which is going to give disadvantage to those rolls from Warren Brolin, because you're going to have to skedaddle away as you see someone approaching the tent. I just want to see what you guys catch. So roll perception checks with disadvantage as I move over to Valfine and then back to Valoria and then Warren Brolin. Valfine, um, what's up? What's going through <laughs> your head? Trying to catch my breath. Um, I, I apologize. I'm going to come right back to you. Hold that. Asteria, as you... I just forgot, because Asteria said I had something at the beginning of the turn, and it applies to you, um, kind of. And Asteria, <laughs> you get a cold wind blows across you. Just you. Just for a moment, and then it's gone. Is there something that you do when you feel that hysteria? Uh, I lo look around for a source. Okay. Um, make a perception check while I go back to Valfine. Valfine, how are you feeling? Losing. Trying to catch my breath as my vision came back. What are you gathering from that situation you were just in? I'm internalizing it. I think it was in your head. Something about you. Yeah. Okay. I oh. do I can I make an arcana check to see if I know anything about what just happened? Lore on something that just happened now. Yeah. Give me an arcana check. Depending on how this goes, we may have to dip into secrets. Oops. Fuck it. Okay. Um, you're not sure. You're not sure. It's very weird. And I think the, the conclusion you fall on is that you may have been internalizing it. It may have been an effect of your condition that you weren't aware of something that this stressful situation is bringing on. Okay. Okay. What does Valfing do? Does she stay here? Continue to try to recover? What's going on for me? Around you, I think as you focus back into what's around you, you hear some yelling coming from the breakbone tent. You hear yelling at the walls. Uh, keeping keeping up on, on sites, you hear Tears Wisdom, Helm Strength being called back every 10 minutes or so to, 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 to confirm. There are people moving around you hastily, trying to get things where they need to be, get things done, waiting for a new command. For some people who finished their parapets who are helping on others to try to get them to their complete. You see that, I think you noticed, and you didn't even see, you see that Valoria is right behind you speaking to Sister Cyrus. I'm not even sure what about you see Asteria uh, across the field speaking to uh, uh, Wolf, the elf who doesn't like you. He has a concerned look on his face as he's running towards this tent that you see Warren Brolin looking very concerned about outside of. They, Brolin's red in the face. War looks just very not, like I think War is just solemn. It's very difficult to like read his situation, I think. Um, I don't know if solemn's the word. War is, war is collected, but like yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, he's the, visibly furrowed. Visibly furrowed. <laughs> <laughs> and other than, other than that, you just see the, the camp moving around you, and it's almost like it had to catch up with you. And in this moment, like, the sounds start coming back, everything starts coming back, and you can hear everything. And, yeah, you're kind of more aware of what's going on. The pain in your back is gone. Uh, I turn around, I guess. Uh, Alexander is nearest. Um... I'm right. gonna kind of yeah. stumble in her direction. You turn around towards Valoria? Or Alexandria, I mean? Yeah. Alright, you turn around oh. towards Alexandria, and you know that she's facing away because you like, saw her in the corner of your eye. You turn around, she's on the other side of the barrels. You go to face her, you're going to speak or something? I'm just gonna walk over and not say anything. And, uh. <clears throat> when you turn around, because you turn, I'm imagining you, imagine you getting off this 
uh, this uh, this barrel and turning around to face her to see that mm. that's her. Is that something you think you'd do? Yeah. You turn around to face her and immediately, right in front of your face, just like there and not there, you see Soldier Crowley for a second and you just hear, I can fix it. I can make it go away. And it's gone. And you're just like, ooh, because like something from like standing up. No, you can't. You can't. And I think you, you're easily, it just was like a flash and it caught you off guard. And then you're, you are oddly not as like hit by it. It was just like a flash. And yeah, you are, you are, uh, you, you see Valoria, you want to walk over to her? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. What are you, are you saying something, having a conversation? Gonna just kind of stumble and, and catch myself on her. Sh- I think that's cause for me to ask Valoria what her conversation with Sister Cirrus is like right now. Valoria is coming to the sister and she's really concerned. Sister Cyrus. Oh, uh, Valoria, yes. I'm glad to see you. I, I, I have been so busy within the tents. Um, uh, how are you? The situation is becoming more dire by the moment. I imagine you are preparing yourself, as all we are. I am preparing myself for our inevitable deaths, if that is what you are meaning. She says, oh, child, you mustn't say that. Such negativity will not, will not be an aid to us, I fear. Negativity as a result of circumstance is not really negativity. It is just fact. I have to ask your counsel. She looks to the other soldiers and she says, I, I will be right back. And she pulls you away from them. And she says, and she pulls you over a good chunk away, away from the soldiers, towards the, towards the, uh, towards the, the thing. She says, Lord, you cannot say things like that in front of the soldiers. They are going to fight, and they are probably going to die. I am trying to give them encouragement. That kind of thought is going only to hurt them in the end. That is exactly why I need to talk to you, because we do not need to fight, and they do not need to die. You saying the undead are surrounding us. The undead are, however, reports have surfaced. Did I? I heard that right about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure I wasn't. Yep, Salhalo definitely reported it. Yeah. Reports have surfaced that the undead have not completely enclosed this encampment, and there is a way for all of us to avoid the slaughter. Even if five of us remain at the end, that is still too many lives lost for something I know Helm and Tyr would not want for their followers. She takes a breath and she says, there is an escape, a retreat path, that's safe. Yes, a safe path. Was it, to, it was to the north, right? Yeah, to the north, up the river. To the north, away from the undead lands, that would put us right on line to return to Schultz, where you could get reinforcements. This is going to be Camp Righteous all over again. I held my tongue before, but we were there, sister. I saw what became of Niles' break bones fervor, and it will happen again. Make a persuasion check with advantage. (laughs) Uh, You gotta make it to me. Okay, yep, 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 yep. All right. Whisper roll. She will look to you and she will put a a, a hand um, as you're speaking, a hand on your shoulder, and she's like, I didn't know there was an escape. I... She says, does Niall know of the, the route? That is why I am talking to you. Because he is well aware and he refuses to see it as an option. Niles, what have we done to you? She just turns and she says, Why are we here? Why did we come to Chult? 
she just seems like just questioning everything and she's looking around at the wounded and she just says if there is a way out I put my vote towards taking it I'll put my hand on her shoulder and I'll give her a very a kind glance and I will say sister I know why you are here and that is because Tyr and Helm needed you to be but right now it is not their hand that guides you you need to return to their light she says I cannot challenge Niles he was my friend he is my friend I cannot do it alone. And you won't have to. We all want what is best for you and everyone else here. I have seen a great many people who deserve to bathe in tears light at least for a few more days. And we should give them that right. We don't have... I would hate to have to harm Niles. He is a righteous man, and he is doing everything he can. But right now, everything he can do is not what we need. She breathes heavily. She says, what are the captains? What do they say? Have they been informed of this? I have not spoken to them. I don't know them as well as you do, but I know his second. She fights. Tyr is trying to show her the way, and her compassion for her commander is blinding her to his hand, as it is to many. She says, I would speak with Sanhan and feel more comfortable if I were to know her stance. If she was behind me, I would. And she big looks around for a moment. She's panicked. She's scared. But your presence is calming her. I would relieve Niles. I have that right. I'll squeeze her shoulder, especially after seeing her become afraid, and say, I will not leave your side. I will be here. She just, like, shakes her head. Um, uh, let me see. Brolin and War, what perception checks did you guys make? Shit. 17, and he got 14. Well, you, 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 you <laughs> had me re-roll again, didn't you? With disadvantage? Um, yeah, you had to roll with disadvantage. 17 and 14, very good. Somebody, somebody, Brolin got perception 1 right here, I'm seeing. 18 and yeah, 1. No, yeah, that's what, I'm, yep. that's what I'm saying. I got it. So... Um, <clears throat> Jacob, you have to do disadvantage too. He did. Did I? No, I didn't do oh. it. Oh, oh, yeah, do it. Do this. Perception disadvantage. You want me to roll another d20 here? Yep. Okay. I'll just do that. Oh, yeah. I'll just do I that. I can see. Uh, We're going to stop at 1130 if everyone's okay with that. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Perception. Nice. Nice. <laughs> so, War, War definitely hears roll. well, and War also sees. Um, he sees Wolf coming. Brolin does not at all. And I think, I like, Brolin will not see Wolf coming at all. But anyway. Uh, like, uh, when he up. sees Wolf coming, he's going to gesture to Wolf to, like, come come here. And, yeah. like, take a step towards him. He looks and he says, what exactly are you doing in front of the commander's tent? I wish to inquire with him. Who is he speaking uh, with now? He says, Sahara is trying to convince him to leave this place from a horde that could take Port Nianzaru. He looks and he just like, Sahara, you fool. And I, he gets herself. out of out of Wolf's way and just lets him go in. He says, she's going to get herself tied to a post. I will talk to him. And uh, he moves in. <laughs> By and time. Uh, the, conversation, <laughs> the conversation shifts uh, quite quickly as, as, as Wolf enters. Break, break one. Wolf, I and I have uh, I, I'm I'm in the midst of 
you've been a bit of a lecturer, and he just says, he says, Niles, I need to speak with you. He says, I've got a lot of things in my mind, Wolf. I'm, how are the walls? I, uh, it, just let me finish exactly what I'm doing here. And he just says, Commander, please calm yourself. And he just says, I'm fine. What? What? This can be paused for a moment. What do you need? He just says, there are individuals out in the, still in the pits, the Charltons and my sister. They need to be let in. He says, no, 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 they, they, they can't. The pits have to be dug. We have to be setting. That's why I'm trying to get through to Salhona here. We need to prepare for our defenses. The undead are at our borders. So we must work quickly, and I'm simply trying to hold on to the rates. That's all. And he just says, true, sir. My sister... My sister will have no use out there like she would in here. Allow me to step outside. I will take the reins with the Chultons in the uh, in the pits. He says, so be it, Wolf. Doesn't matter, one elf or another. And he says, go. And he says, thank you, Commander. Go to Selhana. And he stops for a moment. I think this is still visible, but only here, but only by war. And he'll just say, wish you luck. Uh, wolf, uh, wolf moves out uh, and out, and he looks to the uh, he, he looks to the um, the guards, and he'll yell out over uh, over Valoria and uh, Sister Cyrus, and he'll say, "Guards, have the gates not to open." And he turns over, and he sees a couple Charltons uh, that are working over here, and one that looks as though um, no, he's not going to grab him. He sees that he's sick. He'll grab a couple other Charltons, and it'll be like. Come, we're going to relieve my sister, and maybe a few of those who are tired, and continue our work. The commander has given an order, at which point he will yells out. From my lips, from his lips to my own. And he says, we must continue our vigilance and keep this place defended. I want wood gathered as soon as possible for fires. And Wolf moves forward, and the, the gates will open. They will crack open. And I think, Valoria, you'll see the, them open for a moment. And the Cheltons kind of rush in as uh, Wolf kind of, uh, just to be scared, Wolf kind of instructs some of them who are still willing to fight that there is no danger uh, and that uh, they, uh, the, the, the enemy is far away and that precautions must still be, uh, or defenses must still be made. He sees his sister. She comes in, meets him. She says, she says Wolf, the, my men are tired. They need to be relieved. And he says, oh, no, we all need to be relieved, sister including yourself. You are going to stay in here and watch uh, over things. She's like, no, I, I will go out with you if you are going out. She says, no, you are staying here. I will go out. And she seems a little heartbroken. Brother, I will not leave you on the other side of the wall. Says, Sister, I will be fine. As I told your workers, our friends, there is no danger right now. Come. And he is, uh, Wolf is moving. Um, as these Cheltons move in and out, uh, a good a good portion of them uh, who are already out there go in. Very few of them who are tired stay uh, to rest. They just go back out. Um, and you hear orders being issued by Wolf. And you can see Larissa, the his elf sister, looking a bit, like, turned around. And she's just sort of sitting there grasping an amulet in, at her chest and kind of just, like, worried. And it's taking her a second to come to. Um, let me get rid of this uh, initiative. Asteria. Um, what are you up to? You just felt that wind. Uh, I was looking for the source. Make a perception check. Make a... Oh, make a perception check. Yeah, I made one for you already. What was it? 18. Oh, nice. Um, you can't pick out a source, but... I will tell you a secret in this chat. Um, actually, jump, jump into secrets with me, just real quick. I want to so I wanna see We're, <laughs> We're all going to die. <laughs> War, we got to do... We got to... Guys, I know I've been rolling really shitty this game, but we got to do something. <laughs> you, rolled a, you rolled a one on what? Uh, when I ask for the Arcana check. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's one of the most important ones. All right. Okay, that secret's been told. Um, so, what are you doing, Mysterio? 
Um, I guess I'm going to approach the tent. All right, you approach the tent. You see Warren Brolin in front of it. Warren Brolin, what you do is you see Asteria approach. I am oh. shaking my head no at the Asteria <laughs> right now. I see, see, see. I, I look, yeah. Brolin's like, Asteria, <laughs> you're gonna waste your damn time. Rock is gonna is gonna is gonna degrade before that man's conviction. What do you do, Asteria? Your friends are telling you don't. All right, I just have them fill me in then for now. Okay. All right. Um, they, uh, they 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 fill you in on the situation on what on what they've experienced from what's in here. Um, I think you see a uh, a very defeated uh, Captain Selhana step out of the tent and move past all of you, um, not really making any eye contact. And you see quickly before you can say anything, uh, Niles Breakbone exits as well behind her and he looks as though he just got done cleaning up a big old mess and he uh he he just he just steps out he's in his full armor his full regalia looks out at the camp and he goes hmm time for speech and he steps out into the center of the camp and he says soldiers of light he says you see now the darkness that gathers at our borders. It is true. The undead have come for us. They see our righteousness. And they want to see it destroyed. But our walls are too high, too tall for them to cross. They will break upon them like water upon rock. And he says, no matter how far the tide blows in, it will never breach our borders. He says, have faith in Helm, in Tyr, and in Torm. But with their guidance, that is displayed through me and your commanders. He looks over to Salhana, who just stands and looks as though she's standing upright and vigilant. <sighs> through this, our grace is brought down onto you. Their wisdom guides us, and there is nothing we will fear in this dark night. You see Selhana, and I would like some of you to see if you can notice Valoria. Valoria, make a perception check for me. Only Valoria, because she's the only one facing Selhana. Okay. <laughs> Valoria! <laughs> You're just as good at perception as me. Wow. There are tears running down Selhana's face. And she's shaking. And you see that her right hand is on the hilt of her blade. And you think that she's going to do something. You are the only one who sees this. The only one I'm giving an action. Something's going to happen, and it's going to happen, and you're the only one who can step in or not step in. I think... Valoria's going to step forward... Not of her own volition, but she is going to be pushed forward by something else. Okay. And she is going to speak out as loudly as Niles just spoke. Um, yeah. Before you do that, before you speak okay. out, what's going through Valoria's mind? 
I want to know what she's feeling. Anxiety about this, um, a, a feeling of, of strength behind it. Is she she feel good about? Like I want I want to know the feelings going through her head. Tell me your feelings. She's first and foremost. She's terrified. Um, terrified. The the threat coming in is. Uh, having laid eyes upon it, it's it's too much for her to imagine fighting something like that. So, she's afraid, and she's angry, because she didn't really know what Camp Righteous was until she got here. And where it was once just an abandoned camp, she sees it now as more of a graveyard. And it's all been Niles' fault. This whole time she's thought, you know, he follows Tyr and Helm, and what was the other one? Torn. 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 And all these gods stand for good things, and she's familiar with them, but he is not guided by their hands, and she knows it. No. And she's watching as she is, as he is leading all of these faithful to their graves, not in the service of their god, but in the service of his ambition. Because this is ambition. He is playing at war, and she has seen it. And it is furious. It makes her furious. But she's never really had a reason to be angry about stuff like this before. She just is. His hypocrisy in the face of the gods pisses her off. And more, th she knows she has Sister Cyrus's faith and she can see um, Solhana's uh, the will the, the breaking of her will like she is going to do something but she doesn't want them to act alone so she is stepping forward even if it she's afraid she's going to die because okay. Niles is right in front of her but she's going to do it anyway okay you step forward make a constitution saving throw Oh, that is uh, that is not the thing that I need to be rolling. <laughs> got has got a... oh, Okay. Okay. Um. You feel uh, a little bit dizzy as you step forward to do what you're going to do, but it quickly stops. It dissipates. Um, just maybe you imagine nerves, and you've broken past them. Um. What are you going to do? I'm still giving you this chance to do something. She is... Step forward, and you start speaking out. What do you say? She is... Do uh, you want me to tell you what I'm going to say, or are you asking me to tell you the gist of what I'm about to say? You can give me the gist, or you can tell me exactly what you're going to say. I'll let you do it either way. All right. The... <sighs> See, it's been so long I forgot exactly what he said. So now I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. He was talking about essentially uh, that uh, a darkness comes to us, but we are a shining light of righteousness. They come to try to snuff us out. Very similar to what he did. What he was saying before. We must, we must uh, embolster our defenses and dig in. This land belongs to us. It belongs to Torm and Tyr and Helm and and we must do what we're, he's trying to inspire best he can. We must stay with justice and like, yeah. All right, something? she's going to step forward and she will say from the like the bottom of her soul there is no light here. Niles. This camp which shines with the faith of those who inhabit it has been snuffed by the clenched fist of your ineptitude. This camp that walks in the faith of Tyr and Helm and Torn has been swayed from their noble purpose by your ambitions. And they have stood by as you have slain their brethren with your misguided faith. You cannot take this path. This is not the final stand. Helm will not praise you for this sacrifice. And tear will turn his eye and tears will stream across his face as they 
will not watch their faithful die in your hands. It is time for you to step down so that those who still see Tear's light can lay the path for his followers to take. He looks at you and he says, <sighs> he stops for a moment. Um, make a per very difficult persuasion check. This is not just for him, but well, it is for him, but there's different tiers to this role. It might affect others, too. Should have been a warlock. <laughs> <laughs> this speech is really I good. I probably should have made I'm giving, this I'm speech. Gonna, if you don't have inspiration, I'm going to give it to you now. Um, that you may use on this, if you wish. Oh, I'm going to use it. Use that shit. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, use that shit. On. Come on, guys. Come on. I'm come assuming on. it's a pub. I'm assuming it's a public role because I'm like shouting it do out. It. Yeah. You gotta or, do it. Or or yeah. do you want me to hide the result? Um, public, public skin. Okay. <sighs> Come on, Tier, you've been with me so far. <laughs> nope. Ooh, fourteen. Oh, you see some people look around as they as they sort of gather, um, and they hear what you have to say. And some of them, there's like an on the fence moment, and like Sister Cyrus, I think, I think a part of the inspiration, maybe part of the advantage, I'll bump it up to a 15 and cheat and say it's a 15. Uh, <laughs> let me make it a bit some more because Sister Cyrus is behind us. Like, Niles, this has to end. When will it stop? I don't want to die here. And, uh, looks and he's he's like just looking around and you see this look on his face that he is doing everything in his power to keep in his rage he looks over and he says captain salon my sword and he puts out a hand and she steps back and he looks over to her and it's just this moment where he slowly his head turns first and then his eyes follow disobedience You and he looks at all of you and War can, Hysteria Grolin. Can War step forward? <laughs> yeah, uh, the, just, well, just one step. One step to here. Step He's gonna one Brolin, step. Brolin's gonna follow you. <laughs> all of you. You have brought this corruption into my camp. Look upon these individuals. And see the demons that Asmodeus has plagued upon us himself. At they this point, break you. I push both of the, the two slightly away from me, the two that are beside me, and burst into holy light. And and go. We are not the the demons here. We are here and with as a. <laughs> As sent by the gods to save these people, not to from your corrupt beliefs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The you shining, fucking suck. Yeah. The shining, the shining light bursts forward, and he just is immediately taken aback by this angelic light that is for uh, before him, and he takes a step back backwards just kind of like taken off he's just no. and uh Asteria I want you to make a charisma check and you're versing another charisma check which is hidden we want, want persuasion yeah give it to me um cause you're versing deception Do it. Uh, this is tight. I'm using my inspiration, by the way. Okay, use your inspiration. Do it! I have to see what the number is that you're facing quite quickly here, because I want it to be legit. Finish it. Finish it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's decent. 
Oh, okay. Oh, you, you, you had to make it public. <laughs> No, I'm not mm -hmm. making it public. You see Niles Breakbone, and you see, uh, I think it's from Mysteria's viewpoint, others' viewpoint, her light is, uh, is pouring forward this sort of white light, and a frost begins to cover Breakbone's shoulders. No, no, you are lying. It is a wolf in sheep's clothing. And he reaches over to Sister Cyrus, pushes her down, and draws the blade that she keeps on herself in uh, in um, in for safety. She says, "I will kill you, and all those who fight against the light." <gasps> and he runs towards you and goes to make an attack. Um, uh, he's going to he's going to he's going to swing, but I think it's initiative. Are we rolling initiative? Um, I think everybody involved can. Everyone here? Okay. Um, um, Sister Cyrus is going to also do the same. And so is Salhala. All right. Sister Cyrus reaches out. Niles, don't do this! Please! What's wrong with you? And he's in a fever. Like, you see, his, like he's got the anime, like, the mouth is wide, his hair is, like, is like risen, he's got this frost. His shoulders, what has become of you? And he's not even paying attention to her. He just wants to kill Asteria. Um, and uh, she's... She's shocked. I think she's got to think about, like, what, what does she have? Can she do anything? Does she have, like, a little person or something? Oh, man. She doesn't have anything like that. Um, she starts to ready a, a, a spell. Um, but, Brolin, what are you going to do? <laughs> Brolin has been wanting to kick this guy's ass since the... <laughs> Oh. Second second day, he's gonna turn into his raptor. He's like, I've been waiting for this little man. All right, you turn into a, a raptor. Um, go ahead and place your raptor token down, and we'll move rolling over. That should work. One is in. Yep, there you go. Oh, he's here. Yep, and I'll just ah. put this here. So we see Brolin transform. Which is to a surprise of a lot of people and probably some fear for sure as this form is a dangerous creature. It's like seeing a lion pop up in the middle of your, your camp. Yeah, he's, he's gonna... I'm right here. I'm five feet away. Yep. I'm five yep. feet away. I'm trying to think. He can't do his pounce. Nope. Yeah. So he's gonna, he's gonna run and just claw the shit out of this guy. Alright. Uh, lethal? You should put him um, over here, by the way. Can I do non-lethal with the raptor? They're mainly attacks, yeah. Okay, yeah. He, he's just gonna he's gonna just rough him up a little bit. So yeah, go for it. Two two bites and two claws. Bro, okay. you should move slightly over towards Valoria. Yeah, I'm gonna move in front of. Yeah, he's gonna run in front of Valoria, definitely. Right, so you can't share the same spot as another person. Well, I'm not. I'm, You're I'm on right. Asteria's. Asteria was there at the beginning of the battle. He's oh, right okay. Him a bit. So where are you? Okay, going? okay. You can you can move through her space. You can't end it there. So where is that? Where you are gonna be? Uh, well, no, I was right here. So I'm just gonna move. Yeah, where do you wanna be? Right here. Alex, where were you suggesting? I was suggesting here. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yep, you can do that. Okay. Sounds um, good to me. Whew, yeah, I might just do a battle track here. And two with its claws. Press. Okay, so yeah, uh, Brolin oh, is going to Brolin is going to roll the first attack. Go for it. This is better because it's like going mad. That's a, that's yeah, he tries to parry your strike and is unable to, and he's just like, wild beast. Yeah, it's five. He bites. He bites his arm. And he yells. Men, protect me! 
Protect her commander. Um, oh, that's a nat one. <laughs> all right, a nat one. You're unable to connect with him at all. Um, is there something else? Do you have another one? Yeah, I got, I got one more. He parries it. <laughs> like as I imagine, like he's got like his blade kind of between. The moss, like, see what they become, monsters in the night. And it uh. It Even is. the gods of nature are seeing how <laughs> corrupt you are. <laughs> the gods it, is, it is Valpine's turn. Valpine, what are you doing? Can I try to take a sword from his hand? <laughs> you want to try to disarm him. So disarm is something that you can do, but it's not a particularly easy. Um, I believe first you have to, and I don't have the rule on it right now, but it just came out. I believe you first have to successfully grapple and then choose to make a disarm. And I, I think that it's possible, but I'm not 100% sure. It might. Last time we checked, it was only a a feature given to, um, given to uh, fighters, uh, man, uh, maneuver fighters. Uh, but I think a recent thing came out that detailed a little bit more on how disarming works, and it's not easy. It's a couple checks. Um, what's up? What checks are we talking? We're talking, I'm thinking it's t probably a grapple to get close to him, because you have to get that hand. He's got his sword. Most of them energy. are strength checks, though. And Yeah, most of them are strength checks, and then it would be another, probably, basically a, con a grapple contest to relieve him of his weapon. You can try to grapple to... No, because you don't have the feet to restrain. There's a literal feat that's like you can grapple, and you have a really good grapple that can restrain someone. That means you're just really just yeah it's the gra it's the grapple yeah, feet it's the grapple feet yeah. so you can grapple him and keep him from moving but he'll still have an ability to to do things he is quite obviously mad um uh what's the what's the verdict Jacob? Uh, i can't find it because it I, it's, it's That's what in it's a sea right of now. disarming traps That's what it's <laughs> gonna be right now. it <laughs> is in uh it's a dmg rule actually it's an optional variant okay oh, it's optional variant. But, uh, I'm Valfine, what would you like to do? If it's strength checks, it's probably... Yeah, what would Valfine do in this situation? Can I... We'll pull my short bow. I take out one of his legs. Okay. Try to go for one of his legs, go for a shot. Do I get sneak attack? Yeah. He's right, there. He's right there. Eight. Eight will not be enough. Eight will not be enough to strike him. You fire an arrow at him, and it it, it just grazes uh, the 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 leg, and I think he just kind of like screams out, "Why are none of you helping me?" And uh, it is. Uh, uh, Valfine, that is uh, your full turn. Can you move or do anything? I'm Asteria. Asteria. Well, um, there I think... is some kind of there is some kind of force around Niles. Something that's not natural. Like this <laughs> ice is growing on his shoulders. He looks crazed. I guess I will shoot at the where his the ice is forming on his shoulder. Okay. Um go for it. Make an attack roll. And I'm gonna use Sacred Please. Flame. Sacred Flame, that way he has to make a save. Alright, um jeez, okay. He's going for it. What kind of save? Dex. Got it. Where is my thing of his? I've got a couple things here that aren't uh the best spot. Where, oh, where? Because I minimized him and now he's gone. There he is up in the freaking corner. Got it. Deck save. All right. 17. Um, you see the flames surround him and the ice begins to coil further and puts out your flames. And you see his smile is quite turned, and he just looks delighted that that failed. Just... Oh, he also takes damage. Oh, does he still take damage? Oh, yeah. Being I'm... next to you. Like, to glow, I'm in my oh, radiant yeah, consumption. Oh, yeah. How much does the radiant do? Um, it is... 
Uh, two, it looks like. Oh, two, yeah, that affects him. For sure, I don't think there's any save. That affects him. And as he sees, uh, uh yeah, as he sees that, uh, that, that begin to, to burn away, like, some of it is, like, melting the ice, but your, your initial attack, it was just sort of pushed back. It's like watching two forces kind of back and forth at each other, almost Dragon Ball Z style, a little bit, and he is raising his sword above his head. It's like, no, you will die. And, um, it's Selhana's turn, and she is going to step forward, and I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a will check because I don't know if she's going to try to kill him right now, if that's what her mindset is, or if she's going to try to if it's non-lethal or not. This is a rule on her part. Is it gonna be public or private? Public. It's gonna be her wisdom. Anywhere eleven and above is she will be uh, she will be sparing him anywhere below. She's gonna go for the kill if she can hit. No, nope, she's going to try to kill him. She's gonna make a. She's gonna make two attacks. So she's gonna go with her. She's got her long sword two-handed. So the first attack. Fuck. Oh, oh she, shit! She decapitates oh. him right in front of you. He's really? Oh. There, he's got the sword raised. He will die. And she comes around, just, and just lets it lie. And he just sits there. And you see his head roll from his shoulders, and his body. <laughs> Drops. Wow, Valoria, this is, this, this is a first for you. You first you had to cut <laughs> someone's leg off, and now someone's head just flew off. No, that. And, and so Hana drops the blade. And just starts crying. And and Cirrus just puts an arm in their hand, and others are just, oh, oh, and they're just worried. And then we hear a call come from above, from the towers. They're advancing! They're moving! The undead! They come for us! And that is where we're going to end our episode. Oh, God. Don't worry, guys. We can still get away. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. have we done? Shit. War was uh, too Niles, slow. Niles Breakbone's head rolls into the mud. Does he have a... The ice does, does... melts. Does Niles Breakbone have a? Does his head have a little, uh, little marker as well? No, no. Well, you know, you think he would have a, a marker there? Yeah, no, no marker. <laughs> not that convenient. No, no marker. Definitely not. Well, as a player, um, I know exactly what's happening. As a character, my character does not, though. Mm -mm. Oh, I have no idea what's going on. Same. <laughs> I, I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion. Um. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> oh Valoria's constitution roll. Boy, was I ready for that uh, to go through, but it didn't. Good job on that. <laughs> Yay, I don't know what I did, but all right. <laughs> Whew, good episode, guys. Good episode. That was, that was really fun. Niles Breakbone is dead. Oh, shit.